guys, welcome back. This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to do a review of the Orca Torch D570 2-in-1 scuba diving light. I want you to know that I'm not being paid to do this video. This D570 dive light is sold by the official Orca Torch Amazon store, Outdoor Equipment Expert, which will provide timely after sales service and perfect product solutions. A link is in the description, as well as a discount code that is good until September 30th, 2023. I want to start out by saying that divers living here on Bonaire are in the water constantly. And for our channel, we are filming all the time, doing cleanup dives, searching for historical artifacts, guiding friends, and also doing lionfish hunting to help reduce the impact by this invasive species. Constant exposure to high salinity salt water corrodes gear at an alarming rate. Entry and exits can be rough on gear too, and the sun can be brutal on gear. When you dive 200 to 300 times a year in this environment, gear gets wiped out fast. Many BCs may only last two years. Poor regulator design requires constant vigilance to make sure it works. Dive booties only last six months and so on. I can't tell you how many dive lights, no matter how hard you rinse them, corrode, shut, or just plain give out. So when we gear, when we buy gear now, we buy things designed to last, and quality construction is key. Our constant complaint is that many scuba equipment manufacturers only build for the occasional vacationer who may go diving one to four weeks of the year. Also, being a tech diver, our gear has to take high pressures associated with diving beyond recreational limits. Also, with extensive use, gear can overheat and you don't want it to be damaged. Overheating, for example, does happen a lot with camera gear. And finally, as a cinematographer, dive master, and occasional lionfish hunter, we need to be able to signal our team when you find something and you don't want to alarm the fish with your lights. Making a narrow beam to illuminate a fish, but back it off quickly as is as important as the ability to signal someone from your team or direct them to something of significance. This is why the D570's two light sources, an eight degree 1000 lumen white beam and a 1000 meter distant green laser are so attractive. So let's unbox this light and talk about its features, what I like and what I don't like. Now I would say I was the first to open this box, but our lovely customs people got to it first and like anything that gets shipped to here. But I am confident everything will be in the box. Here's the Orca Torch box. We're going to opening it up. Slide it open. And look at this. We have a, a lanyard. We have a USB charging station and spare O-rings. Not one, but two Orca Torch 18650 lithium ion batteries. When you dive a lot, you always have to have at least one battery in the charger while using the other. The fact that the Orca Torch thought of this is just amazing. In fact, only one battery for a serious diver is almost like saying batteries not included. More manufacturers should think like this. It comes with a lanyard that is nice, but serious divers toss lanyards aside. They are often unreliable. They can uh, get, get lost or caught on something, and there goes your light. I will talk about an alternative suggestion for Orca Torch later. Now let's focus on the light itself. It provides two light sources, an eight degree white beam and a green laser light. Let's open her up. Okay, looking at the light, the D570 opens up um, in the center here, and you're gonna find that it has two O-rings. Orcatorch states that this combined with the pressure resistant construction gives it a depth rating of 150 meters. In fact, I am filming a dive right now where a light with this depth rating would really help the divers. It is clearly built to take a beating. It is made of aircraft grade, high strength aluminum material with the latest diamond grade, hard anodized corrosion resistance, 
finish and toughened glass that is coated on each side with high water pressure resistance under deep diving. It also has some great protection features. Intelligent overheat protection, reverse polarity protection to protect improper battery installation, over discharge protection functions. Uh, let's look at operation. This light is quite easy to operate. So there is a single side switch on this light, which is great. And uh, it's easy to operate. If you hold it down, you'll get your green laser light and you release it and it comes off. This uh, prevents the light floating around and actually hitting uh, fish or the people in the eye, which is really a good thing. Uh, second of all, white light, a double click, and you get that on and it stays on and a double click, click together, will turn it off. You know, one of the challenges with um, this type of a design, or having a, a laser and putting in the hands of a, a especially with a young diver, is um, you really have to be sure that you're not pointing at marine life. Uh, marine life, like uh, moray eels, are very sensitive to uh, uh, light and you can blind them. So both for the green light and this high intensity thousand lumen light, you don't want to be pointing at, at their eyes. The other cool thing about this is this is a battery charge level indicator in here. And the, the combination of different color schemes will tell you what the battery level is. And when it's flashing, it means it's in serious shape and, and you're gonna go out. But the good thing about this is it has a very long uh, battery life. Um, so uh, nearly two hours. Now this looks like a fabulous light that seems to check many boxes. One of the challenges that, uh, that I have with this is, you know, it has this lanyard over here, um, right here. And uh, the lanyards are great, except that I find that they often come loose and they come off and you can lose your equipment. So what I would like to see happen with this light, which would be a, a really big improvement, would be able to have a wrist mount over here that you can take with you diving. And so the value of that is it's not gonna fall off. It frees up your hand. It's, it's just easier to operate. You know, if you wanted to put your laser light on here, you can always push this. There we go. And then on off. Battery charging requires you to unscrew the light and place it in a charger, which is a pain versus other lights that allow for exterior battery charging. But some of these can be subject to battery connection corrosion, like in the solar lights. There are always trade-offs. What I do like is that they claim the white light can last around one hour and 51 minutes. When you dive a lot, it is not a rare situation that Doreen and I dive one and a half to two hours. This is easy to do when you're diving at night as you're not covering much ground and uh, you want your lights to last. Well, we live in Bonaire, so let's go see how it performs in the water in different situations, whether this makes a good primary or secondary light. Let's go dive. The Angel City dive site. A peacock flounder lies camouflaged. Doreen uses the D570's green light to light up the target without alerting the fish. Deeper in the channel, it illuminates a conch cell I turn off my camera lights and a second conch is illuminated. A side benefit is small fish like this schoolmaster love to chase the laser. So do these sharp nosed puffer fish. Doreen aims the laser on a brain coral at the base of the channel and a grazebee shoots off after it. This is a lot of fun. A flick of my camera lights illuminates the brain coral. Doreen tries out the thousand lumen eight degree beam. Although heavy out of the water, it is light and easy to carry in the water with just the light touch. On the backside of the second reef, at the Helma Hooker site, you start to see the lights range. 
it is easy to point out a pair of white spotted filefish. And with a flick of the camera lights, as the sun sets, we head up the slope of the second reef. The beam is impressive. You can just make out the green trail of the laser light near this lionfish. Doreen hunts for something of interest. She aims the D570 green laser and I immediately spot the Caribbean lobster. We swim over the second reef and Doreen lights up the Helma Hooker anchor. She switches to the white light. Doreen hovers over the anchor. A flip of the camera light illuminates the anchor. I follow Doreen to the forward mast. In most situations, the D570 is a great primary light and its size makes it a great secondary light as well. If you want to poke in and around coral heads, the beam may be a bit intense. Doreen passes the laser over a school of fish without startling them. Perfect. The forward mast appears out of the gloom. Our assessment is this is a great dive light and we do believe it makes a great primary light in many situations. The white light does get hot to the touch even in the water. Think better about covering it with your hand. And the green laser light adds possibilities to aid students and the cinematographer. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and helps you to know when new content is released. Thank you for watching.